hi all uh, welcome back this is the step 2 so what we did was uh, windows device recovery tool we just uh, flash the phone power off the phone uh, remove the cable power off the phone power on the phone so now this is what is coming looking here so i'm in my windows pc now what i'll do is i'll uh, connect my cable to the phone once okay I've connected now if you see my screen this particular window pops up okay so I'm gonna close this as of now not needed okay and now one more thing we need to remove the SD card so one minute let I'm just remove my SD card from the phone uh, I'm gonna power off my phone this is very important you need to remove the sim okay i need to remove the cable first power off yes it's shut down now just a minute let me just come back So I'm just powering on my phone. I just remove my SIM card from the phone. Oh, sorry, uh, memory card. That's memory card. So make sure you remove your phone and SIM before trying out all these methods. So this is okay. So now it's loading, booting to the Windows phone screen. Yes. Now, this is the important step. As I told you, after win once you flash with Microsoft device recovery tool, you will need to uh, uh, power off, power on the phone. Make sure you remove the cable. Okay, now first step, let me just connect the cable here. Yeah. And first, when we connect, uh, this particular window pops up, mass storage. Now, again, you need to remove the cable. Okay. Now. Now is the main step. Now, first, go to uh, your Windows Phone internals. You just uh, put it in your C drive I think, and run as an administrator. So this is needed. And uh, then I just connect my phone here. Okay. So now, just close this window. Go to menu mode. Sorry, go to unlock bootload mode. Now just click OK. It just goes. And if you see, my phone has shut down. Okay, now it's gonna power on. Let me just go here. If you see my screen. It's gonna boot it to unlock. Okay, it's gonna on now. Any moment. Yes. So, yeah. Okay, now, if you see here, this is called Secure Boot uh, Version 2 Unlocking uh, Guide. Okay, so you just need to read this. Be very careful. Okay, but before okay, one more important thing. So when whenever you start this, uh, I think it will go to this particular download section, and you need to click download all button. And download all, and what? Don't click individual files. Click download all, and it will download the respective files. Then you can come when you connect it automatically. It will pick up the file for your phone here okay now click unlock it's gonna just unlock my phone as you see, as you see there's something red color happening in this phone and this is like bootload of uh, part one of the phone and then uh, as you see my phone will boot into the red color it will reboot many times so don't worry it's just a normal yeah see it's gonna red so if you just see here it's gonna reboot to mass storage mode so 
this is the trick actually so here if you see it gets on and when the usb connector is gone okay it goes off the microsoft logo should go off remember once this is like the phone is enter the master storage mode but the uh, unlocking bootloader is not complete please see the windows phone internal screen it says you need to manually reset your phone now so press volume down button and power button and press it and reboot it and rebooting it okay now if you see it says reboot phone rebooting phone this is the important step many people uh, i think they they just feel they've already entered the mass storage mode that's not the case you need to follow this procedure or otherwise you will end up with uh, windows boot gears there's something called this issue uh, where uh, instead of loading to mass storage mode uh, it goes to the windows phone icon and then it goes to a, a gear screen actually now if you see bootload is under wait for the connection with the phone let it be there if you see my phone is booting up here so let it boot to windows phone or operating system don't remove the cable don't do anything as of now just see the part here so it's just loading and loading so let's just wait for a few minutes so this will go to the windows phone screen i think now we can remove the cable anyway oh sorry oh my god